we've actually uh, done this to ourselves intentionally. Um, so the way to think about it is, it's, um, you know, there's a medical analogy. We're, what we've done is we put our economy into a medically induced coma, right? It needs to heal. So shutting down the economy to stop the spread of coronavirus, she says, is necessary. And we, of course, want to be able to open it back up when this pandemic is under control. Groshen wants us all to keep this in mind. 83% of the increase in unemployment, they were people who are temporary layoffs, meaning when things calm down, their jobs should be waiting for them. But the silver lining is uh, that a really high proportion of these unemployed people still have their ties to their employers and their employers want to get back to work. So whereas during the last, uh, during the financial crisis, the vast majority of the layoffs were permanent layoffs. Groshen says the people who will struggle most and can contribute to a prolonged recession are those who have been laid off permanently or work as independent contractors and don't know with certainty there will be a position for them to return to. Her advice is to keep in touch with your employer if you fall in the range of those temporarily laid off or if you're working less hours during this crisis. Now, another